So, this is my 152 collection, or my um, my party back. Um, all those years ago, when uh, I started getting to uh, the RC again, or whatever you call it, as an uh, adult, uh, it was uh, it was at the time that I met my wife, or we started dating. I would say. Um, her family, both on her mom and her dad's side, they uh, had a lot of hobby grade and drones and airplanes and stuff like that. And uh, one of those hobby grades, you know, you go 30 kilometers per hour or 60. I mean, that that is fun. But for that would be like 600 Danish, 90, 90 quid. Yeah, 90 British pounds, I guess. <sighs> then that would be only me. When I would be home and have my friends visiting, which, and they don't really have RC, any of them, except my brother, which I've talked about before. Um, so I wanted something different. And I already had uh, bought uh, 152 some years before that, when I was uh, trying to be certified as the, uh, or uh, not certified, I, I was an electrician, I've been that for many years, but to be able to get my own company, you need to have like two years extra on, on in school and um, know a whole lot of more and stuff like that. So while I was there, I was uh, I saw this uh, car, but not this one actually, not one of them here, but this beauty over here because it reminded me of the Turbo Panther, which I bought some 10 years before that. I have a picture on it. See if you can see it, All right? I mean, that's a beauty. And I thought that looked a lot like uh, the Nikos that I grew up with that the big boys had. So I had to have it. I actually thought it was a big one. I didn't I didn't see the 152 at that time. And it was uh, 150 Danish or I think maybe 200. But uh, I just got a hat and then it arrived and it was a small one. But that meant, yeah, we could raise it around the classroom and in my dorm room, which was, uh, I guess, kind of cool. <laughs> and it was kind of cool. We raised it off the tables and everything because it had to uh, withstand, you know, it had to be fun. Um, so I saw that uh, you could get these guys and they were, uh, yeah, 150 Danish. I don't know, maybe 20, 25 British pounds. Um, so I thought, well, I, I'll just buy four brand new. And then I gave the old red one away for a birthday present. Because then I knew I would have four. So if somebody came visit. And they're like 10 kilometers per hour. But that's not bad. And um, then you can play. You have someone to play with. And then I started uh, bringing them to all the parties. Family birthdays and stuff like that. On uh, Mostly on, on my wife's side. Um, because uh, she uh, she's a little younger than me. Like 8-9 years. So she had a lot of uh, cousins and stuff, and they were small kids, three years old, two years old. There were babies as well back then. Still is today. <laughs> Haven't changed. Now we have babies and two-year-olds as well. But um, yeah, back then uh, there was a lot of them. So I was like, it's uh, 25 quid, and uh, if something breaks, we can buy a new one. But you can't really buy these ones today anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. So uh, I have been gluing them together. You know, the, um, this thing, the super rodeo on the yellow one here, this one, uh, this one is glued. You probably can't see that, but, uh, yeah, this one is really glued together. I'm sorry. I'm just going to put you here because that is so much easier for me. Hey, I have a weird angle on your screen, I guess. Um, yeah, but there's missing a red one. Um, and, uh, that's because, uh, the new red one that I bought in this series uh, because uh, one of the parents for uh, one of the uh, cousins for my wife, they bought him a red one, but it didn't work. And I think they actually told me they were too lazy to go to the shop where they bought it and complain that it didn't work. So they just got mine because I thought, you know, I can buy another one or we already have three. Or if he brings it for the, uh, the next party, you know, we have four again. And these were used. I mean, the, the three-year-olds and four-year-old boys and girls and everybody was driving them. 
parents as well you know we could raise you have a sort of okay control it's it's usually the standard way there's no really uh, what they call it um uh, differential i actually forgot what they call you know you just go left go left go right goes right you can't really steer that hard and the same it, it just goes full speed but it's like the very old nikos and um what they call tamiya the hornet which i could see ampro told me told in his video i think it was was the yellow one he had that uh, they look to be based on the hornet uh originally which is kind of cool uh i guess I, I was always into Nico. I didn't really know about the Tamiya until I became older. Um, but uh, yeah, these have seen some wear and tear. But uh, yeah, um, they could bring it and we can drive it. But uh, never really brought it. And now I only have three. I have asked the parents now to see if they have the broken one because I really want to have a complete set. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy who want to play. You, you, you need somebody to play with. Uh, and not just have something for show. It needs to be played with it. This is toys, and I like my toys. Whether it's this or walkie-talkies or iPods, I don't know. It needs to be used, needs to be played with. And um, at the same time, apparently I'm a collector. So I really want a full set. Um, yeah. So these have seams and wear and tear. I mean, basically moms would be the one. It's, it was always the moms, uh, so that would be like uh, the ants, probably, mostly, my wife's ants. Uh, they would step on these. Uh, they would take most of it, but uh, we broke two wheels, which is actually kind of amazing that it was only two wheels. I mean, if you can see here, I don't know, I know this front camera doesn't really have autofocus, and I'm not really good with these cameras, so this is what we use. You know, it's broken in here. And I have another one. And when I started again here in 2020, this spring, I usually have like a month where I play with my RCs. And I have a, like in the winter, December, it's the iPods and walkie-talkies in the fall. But uh, yeah, when I started here, I was trying to get them to work. You see, this one is really broken. Um... I thought that was it. I only had one running. I had two of the dead batteries and switched around. And suddenly, while I was trying to collect every RC I had from different kinds of boxes and stuff, I actually found these walls. Uh, wheels. They're not called walls. See, they're blue. They're a little different, but they sort of had the same fit. They were from um, some RC that somebody here in town gave me. Uh, when I moved into my house, because they knew I liked playing with wires and electronics. I didn't really take a look at the car. I just put batteries in it, confirmed that it didn't really drive as well as I wanted. And I've used it for something else, actually. The, the car and the remote, and yeah, it's been uh, hooked up with the uh, old printer parts and uh, uh, a bunch of um, wire. What do you call it? Steel wire. So I use it as uh, in my profession as an electrician when I uh, pull uh, thin um, in internet cables and TV cables when I pull those through uh, piping because usually I'm by myself so I need somebody to, to draw on the other end. So uh, I put a spool with a wire on it and I would like a, uh, a, a piece of wood. I wonder if I... No, no, it's in my garage. Um, so I have the remote with me. Uh, in the attic and then I you know I drive the car and it uh, it just pulls so that the when I push the very Mendel by uh, wire it goes through uh, so I use that for something but apparently I, I saved all the, uh, the tires from it because that one came with like spare tires I guess it was one of those uh, drifting cars or something so I found all of these and it turned out uh, to be able to uh, fit on the uh, these types of axles or whatever you call it, right? The way that these are made. I know you can't really see it that well. Should have had a better camera, but you know, I can show it here. So this this is basically how the front wheels 
this section right here is just pushed in and glued or something into the into the wheel into the rim and uh, it, it's almost identical to the ones that these one had so uh, yeah so I could get that in and now I have these and uh, when you take this off I don't know should I want to see it when you take off the uh, the top you know because I had two of them with dead batteries and uh, since these are not in production you couldn't really get any information of how they were made or anything so um, yeah you gotta like take these off oh there you go hope I didn't break it this time no I didn't and if you can see right in there there is a GP battery two pieces 1.2 volt each uh, NIMH batteries or NIM as I call them here um, me and my father-in-law we call them NIM NIM uh, NIM batteries and I actually found them in Poland on an electrical site I had to pay I guess I didn't pay I paid six Danish crowns per battery I guess which is I actually don't know like one British pound is like 90 Danish crowns. So I paid less than one pound for a battery. Uh, I had to pay 50 Danish, which again, I can't really calculate in my uh, head. I had to pay 50 for the GLS transportation to Denmark, but I had them in like two or three days actually, which was kind of cool because I had them out and I'm used to buying stuff on eBay and you have to wait like a month or two for something to get here. I mean, I bought a new wrist, 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 wrist watch um, strap for my one of my work watches. Yeah, I, I kind of like watches as well, just not in this same way like this but i like wearing them i have a 12 different but um that uh, strap hasn't arrived yet uh it should be here by the 24th so i guess they have four days yet to deliver it um but yeah these are the uh, 152s and i really want the red one to complete my collection but uh, they drive i guess there's really no they should be charged um all of them but there's no batteries here but these as you can see i have like a these are just uh tape i mean when you paint when you cover it and then i just took a, a crayon to which one was the blue one which one was the green one and the yellow one and i had with the red one as well but these are not original originally we had the telescopic antennas i guess you know this type I think maybe this is one of the original ones, but you know, this was kids and grown-ups, but really kids playing with these cars, and uh, they tend to not be, um, well, the antennas, they break, you know, so I found these antennas, rubber ones, actually I just found them uh, this year, but they were like 21 Danish, including transport from China to get it here, and uh you know, this is, as I say, it's my party bag, so it's for parties, so usually we, we'd be in a room, so they don't really need to be able to reach more than, like, 5 meters, maybe 10 meters. I don't really know what the maximum reach is right now with the uh, new rubber antennas, but we could try to see if, if there's power on one of them. They do take six batteries, but that's because they use two of the batteries. You charge... You can see here you have six batteries, but only four of them is actually connected, um, even though it looks like it. But we tried it out, and it seems that um, you use two of the batteries for charging the car, and you use four of the batteries for the remote, because at one of the parties, the two of the batteries died or fell out, and one of the parents just took them out. And he was still driving the car with just four batteries, which I don't really know how he did, but 
he did it anyway. But as long as it works, I guess. Mm. See, this is 27 megahertz A channel A. These are driving on 27 and 40 megahertz. Powered on. There's a, I turned it off here, and there there's a, a small charging port. And you, you put this wire into it and then charge. Well, this one has to be on, this one has to be off. Yeah, it drives. Lost my screwdriver. I see. There's light. I love it. I love it. I think actually all of them has lights. Yeah, all of them has lights. It is so cool. Apparently I only want to go forward. I was driving almost right after I got these. It was New Year's, so I just had a friend. Just me and a friend. I wasn't married at the time. Uh, so my wife was with her friends. So me and my buddy was here in my house and uh, having all fun with these. And we were outside at midnight or after midnight playing with these in the dark. So much fun. You could only see the headlights, but it was still fun just driving them around. But yeah, they work. They work really well. And I am super excited that I got them up and running. I still want the last one. I want the red one. I want to complete the collection, and I'm still going to keep bringing them to the parties because um, they're made for fun. They're made for being social, and I mean, they've really outdone themselves. I mean, we haven't just broken the axle or wheel or whatever on the front wheels, but I mean, these springs, if you pop them, all of this, all of this here, can really pop out so always have a screwdriver with me to loosen the screw and put this spring back together you know but it actually works there is a just a very small suspension right really good in the back as uh, the ampro has a video on the yellow one um yeah and that that was right after I got all of mine running. I, I I saw that he had that video. It was like, a, I think it's a few years old, but still. And it's true, as, as he said, and other people, you know, there, a lot of hair comes into, uh, into this. But, uh, you know, these have been running since, I don't know, 2015, I guess. No, 20, 2014, 2014, yeah. I've had these, so I've had them at least six years, all, as long as I've been with my wife. Yeah, and the uh, the headlights, you know, they pop out. I just glued these back in again, but you know, they pop out, they still work. And uh, these are super fun, but these are my 152s. And I really hope to complete my collection one day. Well, this has been fun. Hope you enjoyed it, my weird videos which are not really um well edited or well lit or well choreographed or anything but uh, these are my stories these are my rcs and these are my wired dreams bye